8.45 a.m. <laughs> That's funny. I was supposed to wake up at 8 o'clock. <laughs> My interview with that animation department is in 15 minutes. <laughs> oh no, I forgot to set the alarm! Suitcase! Yay! Yay! Yeah. Why is it so heavy? Oh, forget it! The keys! I schedule an interview at an animation department, and the very day the interview is scheduled, I oversleep! How could this get any worse? Ah! Move it! I have an interview to get to! Where is that department? on this map! Ah, here it is. All right, all I have to do now is go straight ahead and I'll be at that department in no time. I just hope nothing gets in my path. Wait, that can't be right! This map is confusing me. The animation department was supposed to be straight ahead. Which way do I go? No. It should be right here. Oh, now I see. I have to turn down. Mr. Littlemore was supposed to arrive a minute ago for his interview. Do you know where he is? Am I on time, sir? Well, if the interview was at 9.01 instead of 9 o'clock, you would be, Mr. Littlemore. So you want a job in animation? Of course! It's been my dream since I was six. Over the years, my imagination has led me to a wonderful concept. An animated slapstick comedy variety cartoon show with different groups of characters in different segments. I have ideas that will knock your socks off. I hope you don't mean that literally. The last person who touched my socks ended up in the emergency room. What? Ha! I'm just kidding! <laughs> Good one. Have you created any cartoon characters of some sort? Of course, lots of sorts. 320 characters, to be exact. Hmm, 320? You must be a busy man. Yes, sir, I am. I believe I have pictures of them in my suitcase. <laughs> heavy pictures, huh? I just put pictures in here. Why is it so heavy? <laughs> what was that? What was what? <laughs> oh, no. Is something or someone in that suitcase? Oh no! You are hearing things. Running an animation company can be very tough on some people. They could start going insane. I'm not calling you crazy, I'm just... <laughs> I assure you, there is nothing in this suitcase. Oh no! <sighs> Get 
Get back here! Wait till I get my hands on you! I'll be with you in a moment. Quick, in here! Oh my gosh, I am so sorry. Wait a minute! Where are you, you little monster? Huh? That display was funny. It amused me greatly. Why, thank you. That's what we do best. Oh! <sighs> I am so sorry. These are two of my characters, Tanya and Timmy. The pranksters. They must be best friends, huh? Well, yes. They're just friends, or are they <laughs> more than that? Just friends. We're just friends. Well, I'm terribly sorry about them wreaking havoc. I'll pay for any damage they cause. Don't be sorry. That kind of comedic genius is exactly what we need. I think you might be perfect here. Really? Thank you, sir. You won't regret this. There's just one problem. Well, that killed his happiness. What's the problem? Whatever it is, I can handle it. Is it too much humor or not enough humor or- You seem to have an easily triggered temper. What? Your anger issues? Oh, that. <laughs> that doesn't happen a lot. He's right. It only happens every five minutes. Every day. 24-7. Gee, I wonder why. Well, it's a small problem. Yeah? I don't like small problems. But I don't blame you. I used to have a nasty temper, too. That's how I got the name Mr. Rage. But that's all behind me. Johnson! Galloway! Why aren't those in the file cabinets? <laughs> but yeah, your temper's a problem. In fact, when you blew up at those tiger cubs after their hilarious act, you went through strike two, and I'm a three-strike man. Well, I can assure you, it won't happen again. Wait, strike two? What was strike one? You were ranting about your destroyed car before you came in. Yeah, you freaked out pretty bad. And we may have learned some new words. Well, I can help you. What's this? It's a stress ball. Whenever you feel like you're gonna blow, start squeezing it and you'll feel much better. Alright, is that all? Not quite. I'm gonna be sending over an inspector to come check on you later today, so that he can make sure that you keep your cool. Sounds okay. I accept. Oh, joy! Signature here, initial here, address here, and phone number here. Great, you're all set. I'll probably see you next month. Good! You have a nice day. And remember... I said probably. One more strike and you're out. Y yes sir. So, do you think we can fix this baby up and take her on home? Or we could take a bus. <laughs> I don't see what you're so mad about. You stowing away in my suitcase again after I told you dozens of times not to. You got yourself that second strike by losing your temper. Oh, please. I wouldn't have even lost my temper if it wasn't for you. But if it wasn't for us? That CEO never would have seen how funny we were. You wouldn't have had a chance if we didn't stow away. Well, maybe I... It... But... Uh... Alright, you got me. Just promise that you won't do anything to cause me to lose my temper. We promise. I honestly cannot believe that you're lying to me right now. Yeah, so? Ow! Ugh, I can't stay mad at you two. You're just kids. But I must say, you two know how to make a man laugh. Yeah, that's what we were created to do. Here's the bus. Does that mean we have to get back in the suitcase? 
Remember what happened the last time I let you loose on a bus? Oh yeah. You think that's what caused all those fire trucks? I don't think I know. That driver is still sending me his therapy bills. You know, you should really get a bigger suitcase. Yeah, with a TV! In your dreams. Run. I lost my keys. We're locked out. I'm gonna call a locksmith. Ugh, my phone's dead. I'm gonna have to go through the chimney again. Well, you could. Or you could use your keys. It's a good thing he only saw you two. That situation would have gotten crazier if he saw the other characters. Now, why would you think that? Hey, Matthew! How was the interview? Why don't you take a look at the half-man, half-camel and ask me that question again? I dare you. Hey, Mr. Incredibone! Hello! Roland RG402 Space Gecko! Greetings, fellow creator! Hey there, Chompy! Good morning! Ahoy, Captain McMallard! Ahoy, matey! And Mermaid, Iggy Popart, Ernest Cyborg 9. Hi! Sup? Salutations. Hola, El Toro. Hola! Hey there, Ed, Ted, Ned, and Fred. Hello. 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 Miss Whisper, Mr. Yell Voice. Hello. Top of the morning! And my ear doctor wonders why I keep going to his office. Hey, Matthew. How was the interview? Take a look above my head and guess. That bad, huh? I knew you didn't have a chance. Well, apparently, believe it or not, those two actually helped me get the job. Those two actually helped you? Surprisingly, yes. The CEO loved to me and Tanya. Thank goodness Wacky Quacky didn't stow away in my suitcase. I was your suitcase! Well, anyway, he thought that Timmy and Tanya were hilarious, and he'd love to hire me. <laughs> under one condition. Well, that stinks. He'll only give me the job if I don't lose my temper. <laughs> what? Ha, ha, ha. What? Ha, ha, ha. I'm sorry, Donald, I can't understand. Smitty, Cornelius, could you translate? Certainly. Ha, 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 ha. He's saying you're doomed. What? Donald, what do you mean I'm doomed? Ha, 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 ha. He says that you can't go five minutes without losing your temper. What does he know? Ha, 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 ha. He says that there is video evidence. What? Who drank the last soda? Ah, uh, sorry, I did. You? How dare you? <clears throat> oh, that was just one time. There's more. Watch. Don't touch me! Video you this pencil at? eraser smudged everything! The came first! Nine on. nuggets instead of ten? I want a refund! Who recorded all of this? Well, I'm not going to lose my temper every five minutes anymore. <laughs> sure you're not, Mr. Will Ritson. What, Will Ritson? I don't get it. Oh, Will Ritson was the world's biggest liar, you see. Well, I'm not lying, and I'm not going to lose my temper because I have this. A ball? Not just any ball, Ryan. This is a stress ball. Whenever I get angry and feel like exploding, I squeeze this to calm me down. Can anyone help me demonstrate? Ah, try to make me mad. All right. Susie, have you lost your mind? He's given me a chance. Don't ruin it. <sighs> Impossible. He's calmed down. Let's all try it. Huh? <laughs> Wait. We have to make sure it really works. Get the anvil. What? <laughs> This is absolutely remarkable, with the calmness and the relieving of stress and the peace. It almost reminds me of Woodstock! How do you feel? Calm and relaxed. Groovy. Well, according to this x-ray, the temperament meter in your brain has lowered from blind rage to calm. That stress ball really does work. Of course, Professor Quirtyson. We don't need an x-ray to prove that. The only proof you need is the relaxed look on my face. We're proud of you! His new attitude's not going to last long. We know. Are we rolling? Yes. All right. This is News Anchor with breaking news. 
Cartoon animator Matthew Littlemore, who has recently struck a deal with the CEO of a nearby animation department, has decided to put his violent temper to rest with the help of a stress ball. We now go to Matthew Littlemore for the details. Mr. Littlemore. What the? Is it true that before you had the stress ball, you've had a nasty temper? Huh? Hey, Mr. Littlemore! 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 They say you took the bus home. What happened to your car? Is it true that the CEO gave you two strikes? Are the rumors true that you breathed fire every time you lost your temper? Smile for the camera! Uh, Penny, could you take care of this for me? Sure thing! Everybody, out! Take a hike! I- Out! Thanks, Penny. I needed that. One more camera flash and I would have went kaboom! You- Well, that must be the inspector. Oh, hello. You must be the inspector that Mr. Rage sent over. Yes, he told me about your nasty temper and that I should come over to check it out. Oh, don't worry. I'm working on it. Ah, stress ball. How often do you use it? A lot, but I'm good. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Intruder I'm sorry. That's Norman. He's my security system character. He keeps track of who and what comes into my computerized house. Intruder yeah. alert! Norman, this isn't an intruder. This is a guest. This is... Um, I'm sorry, what's your name? I can't reveal that information. Huh? Nothing. I understand that you have cartoon characters? Yes. This just in! The inspector has arrived to have a look at the house. Will this inspection lead to positive results? Beat it! Uh -huh. <laughs> this is Penelope Bleat. She's one of the six most important characters that I have here. One of the six? Yes, I have six very important characters for my show that I can't work without, and she is one of them. She's very enthusiastic. She does her best to keep things in order. Enthusiastic? She'll get offended if I use the word sassy. I heard that. Of course you did, Penny. Come, Mr. Inspector, sir. I must show you everyone else. Matthew? It happened again. This is Stanley the Half-Man, Half-Camel. He's another one of the six important characters. And is one of the characters from my series of Greek Matthewology. <laughs> Get it? Because my name is Matthew. Uh, Matthew? Yes? What the? These things always come in pairs for some reason. He'd never survive on his own. I think it's time for me to show you another important character. And she's a genius. Unlike him. D a third boot, Stanley? I have no idea how this happened. <laughs> yeah, unlike him. Let's go. Jojo, are you in there? Yeah, she's in. She's in. She's in here. I can tell by the explosions. Yeah, this is Jojo Violet. My apologies. I seem to be encountering some conjectural predicaments. It was rather imprudent of me to use an unorthodox method on my recent assessment by mixing disobliging compounds that would create abysmal results. I made a mistake, and my lab went boom! Ah, understood. You must have a large IQ. Well, I don't like to brag, but yes. And a large vocabulary, I presume. Undoubtedly. Such an unconventional trait, is it not? Okay, you know a lot of big words. Let's go! Wait! I've uncovered a theory that Pi might have a final digit! Nice to hear! See ya! Well, back to the chemistry vials I go. Oh, I have got to put labels on these things. This character you're really gonna find unique. He gives the words terminal illness a good name. Huh? You'll get it. You in here? Ugh. He's very shy, especially around visitors. He's hiding in the computer. How could he be inside a computer? <coughs> this is Victor Virus, my four and a half year old computer virus character and another one of the six important characters. Nice to meet you. Oh, so he's like one of those evil computer viruses that corrupt files or something? Oh no, he's not evil. He's a good virus. That's right! Bless you. But I never said that he wasn't a digital hazard. I suppose he's liked by many characters in the house. Oh, he's liked by everyone. Especially- Hi, Victor! Hi, Betty! 
Um, you want to go to the park? It's a date. <laughs> Especially Penny. I had to go to the dentist because of how sweet their relationship was. <laughs> Funny joke. I wasn't joking. Ouch. Here's some of my secondary characters. This is Newton, Susie, and Xavier. Nice to meet you. And I told you it's Mr. Scarlet Bird. Don't call me Xavier in front of company. I highly doubt that Xavier is an embarrassing name. Not this again, Newton. Don't start! The uncommonness makes it an extraordinary name! Back off, giraffe! I'm not a nerd like them. I just love watching them fight. And these are the stick figures. Tommy, Jimmy, and Henry. Hey, how you doing? Perfectly fine. I say, do those colors match your personalities? Well, I don't know. Maybe for Tommy. Yeah, obviously for- What do you mean? Careful not to upset him. He's very fragile. I am not! Jimmy, am I fragile? Well, yes. I told ya. Okay, Henry, you got me. You know, I kind of feel sorry for you. A broken leg is not fun to have. What broken leg? Ow! That one! Oh, you stupid! Let's move on, shall we? How are these two even my brothers? These are the Duck Brothers. Jackie Quacky, Zacky Quacky, Macky Quacky, and... Where's Wacky Quacky? Present! And that's why he's called Wacky Quacky. I see. Thank you. We'll take the introduction from here. Us high-class animated characters intend to make sure that your visit to our humble animated home is worthwhile and... As I was saying, we want to make your visit... Worth... While... And... <sighs> we want you to have a good time here, and see for yourself that we are no trouble at all, and we are very behaved whenever- ah Okay, that's it! We're done here! Thank you! I'll be here all week! <laughs> Great A material. Thanks. <sighs> this is Donald. He helps me with the musical scores. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> What's with the honking? He's a trumpet. He can only communicate by honking. <laughs> this is Smitty and Cornelius, Donald's translators. <laughs> he says it's nice to meet you too. <laughs> he asks, how is the inspection coming along? It's going splendid. I can see that there's no trouble so far. That's great to hear. Come on. Ah, I get it. His name is Donald Trumpet. <laughs> I know. Clever, huh? Listen, I know that I promised that he wouldn't laugh at your name, but- <laughs> Hey, no need for the foul language. <laughs> These are the Rooster Twins, Roger and Wilco. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. What's up? Hey, I just wanted to sound cool. I told you that wouldn't help none. I'm just trying to impress the guy. That wasn't impressive. We should probably yeah, leave before things oh, get ugly. Oh, really? Excuse me for having a cowardly brother. You're nothing but a chicken. You're a chicken too. I... All right. Mm-hmm. This is Austin, Baxter, Quincy, Rachel, Leo, Zach, and Sid. And Zach. He already said your name. He did? Oh, okay. Don't worry. Everybody makes mistakes. <laughs> Idiot. <coughs> hey, watch where you're going. Oh, sorry. This is Joe. And I'm chopped liver. And that's Mo. Gee, thanks for noticing. They say two heads are better than one. Yeah, right. Wait, didn't you say there were six main characters? <laughs> well, yes, but I don't see what that has to do with- You've only shared me four out of the six main characters and a bunch of secondary characters. Well, I don't know if they're available. I guess you'll just have to close this up. Goodbye! Mr. Rage also told me about two tiger cops. <sighs> yes. Those are the other two important characters that I have. I was hoping that those two pranksters wouldn't be brought up, because no matter where I go, those little devils always prank me, and I always lose my temp- Per. That must have been the work of the tigers, no doubt. <laughs> we totally got you! Yeah, you look like a cockadoodle doofus! <laughs> <sighs> this 
this is Timmy and Tanya, my very important tiger characters. And it's a good thing I got this stress ball with me. Losing my temper never solves anything. You must be best friends, huh? Yes, sir! Are you just friends, or are just you- Just friends! <laughs> <laughs> well, you've aced your inspection. I'd best be going. Great! Thank you so much for coming! Well, I guess the inspection was a success, don't you think? I hate you. Hey, you should be thanking us! Let's not forget, you never would have had a chance if it wasn't for us! Ugh, that was a nightmare. Matthew! Not now, Norman. <laughs> what? We have a code 12. Code 12? Why are you fighting? She splashed water on me! You sneezed fire in my face! That wasn't my fault! Well, whose fault was it? Ask the one with the sunflowers on his body! He knows I'm allergic! <sighs> Well, maybe someone shouldn't have blown the pollen off the flowers with their gusts of wind. Oh, so it's my fault. Don't turn this around. You guys are nuts! What's wrong with you? with you? Penny, we got a code 12. Penny? Oh, Penny's at the park with Victor. Gotcha. <laughs> I gotta get back up. Crazy foul, come in crazy foul. Over. What is it, curly artist? Over! We got a code 12. Over. I'll be right there. Over! Hey, guys! What?! Where's the fire? Ask him! That's it! Come here! Don't turn Come this here. around! Maybe I can help you settle your quarrel. Oh, yeah? How? Nothing can settle the argument that they caused! All right, but before I go, I got a couple of questions. What? What is the sound of one hand clapping? Why is the third hand on a clock called the second hand? Why do people say you scared the living daylights out of me when daylight is not living? What? what? See, now what were you fighting about? Well, we were just... Wait. We totally forgot. See, you all forgive each other. Group hug! Thanks, Wacky. Don't mention it. And by the way... This is the sound of one hand clapping. Creepy. Well, it's almost night. Might as well turn in. Turn into what? I'm the only one who turns into things around here. Look! Who am I? Thank you, Robin Williams. Sorry. Ah! What are you doing up? It's 12 at night. No, it's 12 in the morning. Did you not see the AM on the clocks? No, I have no idea how to tell time. Well, what are you doing up? I'm just making sure nobody stole the 10 grand in the safe. 10 grand? Well, yes, but- Ow! 100, $100 bills exactly. You hurt me. How come you never told us about this? Yeah, and how did you get it? Please, guys, I'm not telling you the story. Please, Matthew. I said no. Do whatever you want. It ain't gonna work. <laughs> What's up with your face? <laughs> no, no, don't do that! <laughs> oh, fine, I'll tell you. I just can't say no to an adorable character like you. <laughs> adorable indeed. <laughs> When I was 13 years old, every middle school in my district got together for an art contest. Is this going to lead to a flashback? Yes, Stanley. Flashback. I was one of the contestants and I entered some of my work. Some? Okay. A lot of my work. But I was about to lose to another student, Lucifer Killingsworth. Huh. <laughs> that name does not sound friendly. Well, his name matched his personality. So did that hideous scar on his left arm. Cool. He was pompous, snooty, and very egotistical. Egotistical? Yeah, says the one with all the self-portraits. Hey, I made art to amuse people. He didn't even care about the contest. He just wanted to win the $10,000 prize. I knew he was about to win because he brought in an exact replica of the Mona Lisa. I was about to give up hope, but then I got a closer look at the painting. It was no painting at all. He just simply printed it out. 
I informed the judge, Lucifer got disqualified, I was bumped from second place to first place, and I won the ten grand. And that's how this bag of moolah ended up in this very safe. Safe and sound. <laughs> he said safe twice. Good for him. Wait, what were you planning on doing with it? Well, I keep it here to remind myself that I've done a good deed by preventing a cheater from winning. I'm also planning to take a vacation to the Bahamas, but- Hey! How did he get that scar on his arm anyway? Oh, there's another story behind that. See, when we were in art class, Lucifer was using scissors to- <sighs> We'd love to hear that scar story, but it's 12 at night. In the morning. And we need to go back to bed. See you tomorrow morning. No, see you later today. My hands are where you can see them, grammar police. Thank you. What? Why are you squeezing that ball again? What, this? I need this to keep me from losing my temper. Why? The CEO of that animation company said that I could only take the job if I don't go into blind rage for the third time. That's why that inspector was here. Don't worry, Victor. Things won't be so different with me squeezing this ball. Nothing bad will ever happen to you guys. I promise. Okay. Hey, Victor, one more thing. Hmm? You got a good friendship with Penny? Yeah. You really like her, huh? Well, she's... she's a good friend and all, but... You're blushing, Victor. Oh, would you look at the time? Good night, Matthew! Good night! <laughs> I can practically hear the wedding bells now. Matthew, have you seen Jeez, my- Jeez, Mez, don't you ever knock? Who is it? This is ridiculous. You know it's me. Just let me come in, Matthew. You have to say your name. Mez Franzma! Can I come in now? Certainly. My pocket watch is missing. Have you seen it? Sorry, Mez, I haven't. It'll turn up eventually. Yeah, that's what you said about my wallet! It's nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about? <laughs> Good one! You don't understand! I use that watch for hypnotism! Once someone gets their hands on it, dangerous consequences could occur. They'll use the powers for pure evil. Evil! Stop it, Mez. You're just overreacting. That's all. Yeah, that's what you also said about my wallet. Okay, okay, fine. I'll let you know if I've seen it. Thanks. Ingrid. I heard that! <sighs> okay. I got nothing to worry about. I got a good chance of getting my dream job, the stress ball is calming me down, Chompy's chasing Penny, everything's perfectly f- <laughs> CHOMPY'S CHASING PENNY?! <laughs> good lord! Penny! Penny! Penny, where are you?! PENNY! <laughs> What's gotten into him? Mez's watch? He's been hypnotized! Mez was right! Someone did use it for evil! I gotta change him back! Hey, Chompy! Look at the watch. You will not! <laughs> Thank goodness for cartoon physics. The roof! Alright, big guy! You want a piece of me? Look at the watch, Chompy. When I snap my fingers, you will revert back to your normal self. Why can't the ground be soft like a mattress? What? What happened? Chompy, you were hypnotized. Do you know who did this? Well, the last thing I remember was some person with a mask walking up to me and waving a pocket watch in my face. Well, it's a good thing that I came. You almost killed Penny. What? what It's true. You almost stomped on me. I, I really am a monster. No, <laughs> Chompy, it wasn't your fault. 
Nobody really knows what they're doing under the power of hypnotism or heavy drinking. Oh yeah. But, but I... He's a good monster. I am. He's a good monster. <laughs> How touching. Matthew, I heard a disturbance. Is everything okay? We're fine. I found your watch. Oh, thank you. Somebody used it to hypnotize Chompy into trying to kill Penny. Oh, okay, I was worried that somebody would- WHAT?! When I found the watch, I had to hypnotize him back to normal. Who hypnotized him?! I don't know, but according to Chompy, he wore a mask. I told you it would fall into the wrong hands! They used the powers for evil! EVIL! Mez, stop. I'm under a lot of stress. Penny almost got killed! <laughs> okay, I'm fine. Maybe I could check the watch's browsing history and find out who hypnotized him. Browsing history? Oh. This person is unidentifiable! This guy's good, and by good, I mean evil! I know. What do I do? You need to find out who did this. Do you have any enemies? Do nuts count? No! Yeah, because I have a nut allergy and- FOCUS! No, I don't think so. But you're right, Mez. I need to hunt this villain down. But I can't lose my temper. I'm coming with you. Huh? I want to help you find this villain that almost got me killed. I can't wait to get my hands on him. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> what was that? He's in the house. Come on, let's go! Hey, Mez. Yeah? Is that a new watch? Yeah, it's the new Hypno Pocket 8. What will they think of next? I think it came from in here. <gasps> Holy ravioli. Look at this mess. Holy ravioli? Who says that? I don't know. I just... <sighs> hey, we have a villain on the loose. Can we just try to find him? Fine. It won't take my mind off your stupid phrase, though. <laughs> I'll go search through this half of the library. You search through the other half. Got it. What? <laughs> Have you found anything yet? Hey, sheep! You're not searching for clues. You're looking through photo albums. Is it a crime to take a trip down to memory lane? You're looking at pictures of Victor, aren't you? Maybe? You know, Penny, if we don't find any clues soon, that villain might put Victor's life in danger. <laughs> she really loves that computer virus. I found something! Well, it's about time. What did you find? These! My Greek Matthewology book and Chicken Wizard's magic wand? Chicken Wizard wouldn't have just left them here. And what's with this book about anyway? I wrote this book to describe the hybrid characters. Most of it's just blank pages, but... Is that a picture? This isn't a picture book! Probably explains why nobody ever reads it. Wait a minute, I never wrote this! What does it say? It says that half man, half camels easily die in sandstorms. Stanley? Help! STANLEY! Somebody used Chicken Wizard's magic wand to put Stanley in the book and have him die in a sandstorm! Penny, go find Chicken Wizard's- Got it! Spell book. Well, say the reverse spell to get Stanley out of there. He could die at any minute. The page has been ripped up! No! <laughs> we have no choice. We gotta go into the book and rescue him ourselves. Uh uh I'm not having my new wool coat ruined in that sandstorm! Fine. Let's pretend that Victor's trapped in the book. I found the spell that gets us in the book. All right. Crook, nanny, cranny, nook. Put us right into this book. Okay, that just sounded corny. <laughs> 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 Matthew! Penny! Stanley! Okay, we got you. Now, how do we get out of here? Well, I'm sorry, but you... <gasps> it's the missing page! Whoa! Ah! I got the page! Okay, then 
your lunch and breakfast, Nook. Please get us out of this book. <laughs> Is everyone all right? Hold on. Yeah, pretty much. Oh dear me, what happened? Chicken wizard! Do you know who last had your magic wand? I have no idea. While I was writing spells in my bedroom, some mysterious masked man came in and filled my room with sleeping gas. When I woke up, my wand was gone. That masked man used your wand to put Stanley into my Greek Matthewology book. <laughs> Matthewology. Need water. Could you poof up a bottle of water for Stanley? My pleasure. This hybrid cannot stand any temperature hotter. Please provide this poor creature some water. <laughs> so you don't know who did this? I may be a wizard, but I can't see through masks. Can't you poof him over here so we can expose him? I haven't written a spell for that yet, and normally it would take weeks. Rhyming's not easy. Can't you turn back time and stop him or something? <laughs> well, I tried turning back time once. How I came back? <laughs> That's a story for another day. That man could put everyone else in danger! What am I gonna do? <laughs> what about Jojo? Jojo? Yes, she's the smartest character here, and she probably knows a way for you to catch the villain. Not to mention she has a fingerprint scanner. Of course! Why didn't I think of that sooner? Because you were too panicked to think straight! Because a certain sheep is getting on my nerves with her wisecracking? Don't you sass me! Well, I'd best be going. I must decontaminate my magic wand. I hate germs. Hey, Stanley, we're gonna find Jojo. Wanna come with? <laughs> Let's bust this bad guy! Stanley? Yeah? Do you know who put you in that book? I'm sorry, I can't see through masks either. It'd be awesome to, though. Well, we gotta find Jojo. We need her fingerprint scanner. So we can search the library for fingerprints and find the villain? No, so we can find Tom Hanks and ask him to go golfing with us. Oh, I like golf! That was sarcasm. Oh. Does that mean I don't like golf? Jojo? Is she not here? Oh, she's here, Stanley. She's just invisible. Oh, did she use her new invisibility ray she invented a few months ago? She's not invisible, moron! That was sarcasm, too! Stop confusing me! Ah, she must be experimenting with Professor Quirtyson in his lab. Come on. Oh, I'm supposed to follow them when they say come on. That explains a lot. Stanley! Professor Quertyson, are you there? <laughs> professor? It's locked. I think the professor's in trouble. Don't worry. I got a key. <laughs> I thought you said you had a key. That was my key. <gasps> <gasps> professor! <laughs> Did a masked man do this to you? Yes. He barged in here, gagged me, and tied me up to this gas pipe. But not before knocking me unconscious with that wrench over there. With the slamming and the metal and the lump on my head, it was painful. Uh, Matthew? Can't you give me a sarcastic comment later? I really need to untie- <gasps> Up there! What? Jojo! I'm afraid that I'm gonna face an unwanted death. A slow, painful death at that. Professor, how do I turn that thing off? The off button. Over there! <laughs> the flipping machine's broken! Gadzooks! He must have destroyed it while I was unconscious! I can't believe you think we didn't know that. No, no, no! A ladder! That ladder chopping son of a... Not to cause anybody great discomfort, but could you hurry up? Disintegration is extremely painful. And deadly. I could climb in the machine and stop the gears, but... There's no choice! Penny! Stanley! 
Try to drain the vat of acid. Can't you move it any faster? Maybe I can if you help me. Like my arms can push this big thing. All right. Let's pretend that Victor's in danger. <laughs> wow. And I thought I was strong. <laughs> No, not the pipes, not the pipes! Don't worry, Jojo. I got you. I'm gonna bring you back down. Somehow. Stanley, catch her! Did I do good? Should we check the scoreboard? Uh, I'm sorry. I broke character. Ah, don't mention it. Thank goodness. <laughs> don't worry. He'll safely land in this box of pillows. <laughs> Oops. Ouch! Penny! Go untie the professor. Now with the questions and the answers and the what did you come in here for? We needed to find Jojo. Ow! Some villain is trying to kill my main characters. Ow! And we're trying to find out who it is. Ow! We need Jojo's fingerprint scanner to scan the library for prints. Ow! I think there's plenty of print in the books. Oh, fingerprints! <laughs> I'm so stupid. Yes, you are. <gasps> Deep breathing. <sighs> Sweet relief. Well, my fingerprint scanner is over there in that dresser, the second drawer on the right. Are you kidding me? This guy's always one step ahead. I knew something like this would happen. That's why I always make two of every invention. The spare fingerprint scanner is in the third drawer on the left. Yes! <laughs> well, Matthew, that scanner is not really up to code yet. What's wrong with it? It can only scan steel wrenches. Wait! He used that wrench to knock out the professor! It's got his fingerprints! Explain this. It doesn't work on the color red. <laughs> Penny, Jojo, Stanley, come with me. Ah, there goes a courageous team of characters working together to solve this crime with the mystery and the thriller and the excitement and the scary near-death scenes that sometimes give you nightmares. Ooh, <laughs> cringing. You three are not safe out here with a killer on the loose. You have to stay in your rooms and lock your doors. But wouldn't the villain still be able to enter? He means lock our doors from the inside. Oh. Stanley's superlatively shallow intellect astounds me. Okay, aside from a villain on the loose, everything's under control. I'm not losing my temper, Penny, Stanley, and Jojo are safe. A program has been 100% installed. What the? I never installed anything. And why is Norman on mute? <gasps> Matthew! Thank goodness! I don't know who, but some mysterious masked man came up to my screen and installed an unauthorized program to the house. I tried to call for your help, but he muted me! It was the villain! Wait, why didn't you turn up your volume? You have arms. I only have arms on my mobile body, and he shut it down! Well, that explains that. But why would he install... Antivirus? <gasps> Victor! <laughs> Oh no! Someone's trying to kill you! You're an antivirus! What? Who would do such a thing? I don't know. 
But it's the same person who tried to kill Jojo, Stanley, and Penny! Someone tried to kill Penny? That monster! <laughs> I knew you had the hots for Penny. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. Matthew? Yes? What is this place? The Earth's core. This is where all computer viruses go after they've been deleted. Well, how come I don't see any viruses? <laughs> Virusaurus Rex! Hey, you found us! Great game of hide and seek! Now it's our turn to find you! Just set us down gently and we'll close our eyes and count to 20 while you go away! <laughs> On second thought, maybe we could settle for a nice game of checkers. I have the game at my house. If you send me and Victor back, we will gladly break- Oh yeah, I forgot you could do that with your fingers. Whenever my sweetheart is in danger, I'll be there. Penny! Jojo! Stanley! And everyone else! All right, now, Trumpy! I can't get you out! Huh? Uh-oh. Hey, evil virus guy! Leave him alone, or... Uh... We'll... We'll hurt you! Stanley, we are far more likely to disintegrate before we can even reach the vicinity of his boundary. Your big words scare me! Hey, Victor, could you do that lightning finger thing again? I can only do that every five minutes. I need time to recharge. What kind of computer virus are you? <laughs> the stress ball! I'm doomed! I got gotcha. you! No! I got this! Huh? How did she not forget it? Where's Norman? Right here! Come on! <laughs> Thank goodness! Victor saved! We dodged a huge bullet back there. Um, Matthew, one question. How come Penny was able to pull Victor out of there and you weren't? It's the power of strong love, Stanley. And she loves him a lot. Thanks for- <laughs> Aw, that's cute. Yeah, but the killer's still out there. We need to find him or we're all dead. Who's with me? <laughs> Cowards. What do we do? There's a crazy stranger loose in the house, and I lost my stress ball. Who knows where he is? <laughs> Maybe I can help! Wacky, you know we hate it when you do that. My apologies, but I think I can help you look for that fiend! <laughs> we may be in a crisis, but he never fails to make me laugh. Wacky, as much as I find your shape-shifting visual gags amusing, I don't see how you, out of all the characters in the house, can help us find this menace. I think he's saying he's in one of the hallways. What? Which floor? Fourth floor. That's where we are. What part of the hallway? Behind us! Get her! Thanks, Wacky! You are welcome! There he is! Aha! 
We lost him! Anne? Have you seen a masked man? Anne? Please don't knock on my tank. I can't talk right now, Anne. I'm trying to get Anne's attention. Wait, then who- It's always one step ahead with this freak. I have a bone to pick with you. <laughs> bone. Get it? Thanks, Mr. Incredibone. I'll take it from here. Listen, I don't even know what you have against me and why you're trying to off my characters, and I really don't want to lose my temper, but I'm just simply going to take your mask off and find out who you- I'm just simply going to take your mask off. Way to go! Your irritating words are not getting rid of the pain between my legs! Oh, sure! Use the fire character as a threat to cause an explosion! Good job, Zack. Don't mention it. You're kidding me, right? Nope! Well, now we can find out who- <clears throat> Where did he go? Ah, no, no, no! No! Crud! He's gone! Someone get me something to relieve myself of this stress! It's okay. Calm down, Matthew. Thanks. We almost had him. There's no way I can catch this guy and contain my temper now that my stress ball is gone. Oh, please. You didn't have a chance anyways. We should go talk to him. About what? The weather? Come on, Victor! Victor? I'm coming! <sighs> Ooh. I'm so tired from all that flying. You poor thing. I'll carry you. No, Penny, I... <laughs> okay. Matthew? What? Why are you biting your fingers? Gotta do something to keep me from losing my temper. Well, technically, that would induce more aggravation. How do you know? Smartest character in the house. What now? What are you doing back here? I'm supposed to inspect this house daily for the rest of the week. Mr. Rage said that I have to keep an eye on you. Keep an eye on him? That'd be gross. And very painful for the eye. Well, maybe you can help. Some nut job just tried to- What's that in your suit pocket? Whatever do you mean? How to install- <gasps> Antivirus! <gasps> You! It was you! You tried to kill my characters! You're the bad guy?! Bad guy sounds so harsh. I prefer to be called Malevolent Mastermind. We don't believe you! <gasps> Mask Man! Who are you?! <gasps> the Inspector! But you- why would- I barely even know who you are! Oh, you don't recognize me? L L Lucifer Killingsworth? Oh, is that the guy who was cheating in that art contest in your middle school? Yes! <laughs> it's nice to see you again, Matthew. You shouldn't have stuck to your dream. You would have saved yourself a whole lot of trouble. 
But why did you do all this? Why, you made me lose the art contest, of course. And I never lose. You... You tried to kill four of my characters all because of a stupid art contest? You just wanted to win the money! Yes, and thanks to you, I was disqualified and labeled a cheater for all of middle school. Thanks to me? All I did was point out the truth! Well, maybe you should have just left well enough alone. Ugh, how did you even track me down? Well, if you must know, it all started after the end of the contest. Oh, I sent another flashback! I was indignant about losing for the first time, so I came to the conclusion to seek revenge. I overheard you telling your friends about how you wanted to get a job in animation when you grew up. That's when I got the idea. Ten years later, as I was slowly sinking into even more insanity, I formulated the perfect plan to track you down and ruin your life. I knew that the first animation department that you would go to was the one that you lived closest to, so I got a job as Mr. Rage's assistant and convinced him to let me inspect your home to make sure that you have your infamous temper under control. It was also a perfect opportunity to figure out your most important characters and steal the house keys from your pocket. The following morning, a couple of hours before everyone woke up, I put on a mask and snuck into the house. But Norman, your security system, started to go off, so I muted him. But then he appeared on his mobile body and tried to roll off, but I grabbed him and shut him down. Then I snuck into Mez Franzma's room, took his hypnotizing pocket watch, and hypnotized Chompy into attacking Penelope the next time he sees her. And while you were saving Penny, I filled Chicken Wizard's room with sleeping gas, causing him to fall into a deep slumber. I took his wand, ran to the library, poofed a new page in your Greek Matthewology book, and poofed Stanley into the sandstorm, along with the ripped out page from the spellbook. While you were saving him, I knocked out Quirtison with a wrench and put Jojo in the giant mechanical hand above the giant vat of acid, and then tied the unconscious professor to a pipe to prevent him from saving her. And while you were saving her, I went to defenseless Norman's screen and installed antivirus to the house, putting Victor in danger, thus making you jump into the core to save him. And I, during all of it, was also trying to make you lose your stress ball and your temper, so that you may have no chance of ever achieving your dream. You monster! Oh yeah, you monster! I can see that you're about to lose your temper. Go on, let it all out. You'll feel much better afterwards. <laughs> Lucifer, I'm gonna have to ask you to- <gasps> Get off of him! Stay! Lucifer, you need to leave. Now. Alright. And don't come back! Matthew! What have you done? What I had to. You let him get away! Why didn't you bellow and resort to retribution like you usually do? Guys, I can't lose my temper. Who says so? The manager who interviewed me for the animation job! So you're saying your career is more important than us? Huh? That's not- I just saved your life! I'm starting to think that you only saved us just so you could have characters for your job! Wh what? That's ridiculous! Save it! I'm going to my room! Penny, I- Penelope has a point. You wouldn't be restraining your petulance if you weren't that concerned about your career. I still have no idea what she's saying, but I'm not sure if you care about us either. Guys, come on. I'm still Matthew, just without the bad temper. I'm cool. I'm below zero. Right, Victor? Victor? Oh, don't try that face on me again. <laughs> you promised nothing bad would happen to us. Victor, no! I, I didn't know that any of this would happen! Victor, please! You guys can't leave me! I... I... I need you. What's going on? What do you think? Kerlock told us everything! Lucifer was the psycho who tried to kill Penny Stanley, Jojo, and Victor! How did Kerlock know it was Lucifer? Did he find clues that led him to the culprit? Nah. 
I overheard his evil revenge plan while I was walking down the stairs. Well, whatever. He's gone now. So why are you all panicking? <laughs> he said that you let him go without giving him the beating of a lifetime. Guys, you know why I can't do that. I can't lose my temper. If I do, I'll never get that job. So basically, what you're saying is, we're not important, but your career is. Don't you guys start with me too. I've had a rough day. I'm squeezing a sponge for crying out loud. <laughs> he said if you truly cared about us, two should have seven Crucifer got be preserved. What? No, he said you would have given Lucifer what he deserved. Well, excuse me for not understanding Donald's language as good as you, your highness. Ah, you should have given him the deafening bellow of your wrath, but you let him go instead. Yar, just to keep yourself anchored to a deal with a CEO. Speaking of anchors, news anchor here with some breaking news. Matthew finds the villain, but lets him go. We now go to Matthew for details. Now, Matthew, what do you have to say about the horrible mistake that you've made? You know... I really wish Penny were here to tell you to scram, but she's lost faith in me. Well, she's never had faith in me. But why would I give up the one chance I have at that job just to let my anger out? Have you not seen what he's capable of? He'll stop at nothing to destroy us all. I can't believe that you let him slide. See, si, como pudiste? You should be ashamed. Shame on you! Shame, shame, shame on you! You too, Chompy? You are dead to me. Relax, I'll just call Mr. Rage and let him know about this. He- He stole my phone! See? He's a criminal! Who knows? Maybe more characters have gone missing! Nonsense. Everyone's here. Start counting! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12, 24, 48, 96, 124, 278, 314. Penny, Victor, Jojo, and Stanley are still in their rooms, so that makes 318. But there's supposed to be 320 of us! Two of us are missing! Yes, where's Timmy Tiger and Tanya Tigris with the pranking and the tricking and the whoopee cushions they place in chairs? How should I know? I haven't seen those pranksters since they pranked me and made me look like a dumb chicken. Hey, hey, hey! You got something against chickens? They're probably in their rooms. Hold on. Timmy and Tanya, do not come into the conference room. Why are you telling them not to come in here? They always do the opposite of what I say. They'll be here in about five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Why didn't they come in? Well, maybe they're being obedient for once? Whoa! <laughs> you did not just say that! There must be some other reason. Oh no! Why? <laughs> Timmy, you better be in here. Come out from wherever you're hiding. What am I saying? I mean, don't come out from wherever you're hiding. Timmy's joy buzzer. It's not even warm. <laughs> Tanya, are you in here? Marco, Marco. Come on, Tanya, you have to say polo. Marco. Not you, Marco. Get out. You too, Polo. Tanya, if you don't come out right now, I'm going to read your diary in front of everyone. My best friend Timmy is the most mischievous character that I have ever met, but I really like him. In fact, he's kind of cute. Never knew that she felt about Timmy this way. I'm not sure if Matthew likes us. Timmy and I pranked him today and he told us that he hated us. It kind of breaks my heart. I'm such an idiot! <gasps> oh god. Oh god! This is not happening. This is just a bad dream. None of this is happening. Couple characters shot a little more. Where are they? I know you have something to do with their disappearance. What have you done with Timmy and Tanya? I'm not playing with you. I know you have them. Now, where are they? Why, they're safe and sound with me. My tigers! Don't worry, kids. I'll get you out of there. I promise! Oh, I don't think that'll happen. Let them go right now, you evil, vile piece of garbage. I'd be more than happy to, on one condition. 
You give me that $10,000 prize money, and I'll let you and your tigers live happily ever after. You're not getting a cent from me. Very well, then. I wonder if your tigers would make nice fur coats. I'm not making you no coats! I mean, we are the coats! All right! I'll give you the money! Just please don't hurt them! Good. Meet me at the abandoned factory downtown. I'll be expecting you and the true winner's money. <laughs> What have I done? You're awful! <laughs> Why, thank you. I try. You know, I thought the most evil person I knew was Timmy. But I was wrong! Yeah, you... You thought I was the evil one? Well, I'm the evil one now. Now if you'll excuse me, I'll be waiting at the door for my money. Matthew won't give you that money! He'll come over here and destroy you! <laughs> You actually think he's going to rescue you? <laughs> That's a joke and a half. No. When he comes through that front door... He's dead. No! And when he's gone, that money will be mine, and you'll be turned into nice fur coats. <laughs> I'm going to reload my gun. Oh, and Timmy, if you have any last words to say to your girlfriend, say it now. You are a sick, twisted person! I- Wait, she's not my girlfriend? <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Can't talk, Lucifer's evil, Tiger's kidnapped, gotta give Ransom goodbye! Why did you do that? If you give him that Ransom, that means you're letting him win! Have it your way. You're making a mistake! Sorry, I can't hear you over the deafening sounds of me not caring. Norman! <sighs> Fine, I'll go through the fireplace. You really shouldn't announce what you're going to do before you do it. Norman, please unlock this house before I get Victor. What can he do? He's a computer virus. He can deactivate you in seconds. Oh, really? I thought he lost faith in you! I... Oh. Well, I don't care. I'll turn you off right now. What? what the heck is this? That was the paper that fell out of Lucifer's suit pocket while Penny was attacking him for trying to kill Victor. Her baby. This is a list of the steps to Lucifer's evil plan. Mute security system. Hypnotize Chompy, command him to kill Penny, steal Chicken Wizard's magic wand, then transport Stanley into the deadly sandstorm, have Jojo drowned in acid, download antivirus, delete Victor. I feel so violated. Kidnap Timmy and Tanya, call Matthew, demand ransom while giving threat of killing the tigers and turning them into fur coats, wait for Matthew to arrive and make him hand over bag of money. <gasps> Shoot Matthew in the head and turn tigers into fur coats? I knew he was no good. No good at all. Then bomb Matthew's house, killing everyone inside? Oh, worse than I thought. I'm trapped. I don't know what to do. I could sneak into the factory, slowly and quietly grab the tigers and escape. No, no, he'd catch me and kill me. Um... I could use Quirtison's memory eraser and wipe out his memory. Wait, no, those effects are temporary. And if he sees me with that thing, he'll kill me. <gasps> what do I do? I can't give him the ransom, but I can't not give him the ransom. Timmy and Tanya are dead either way. My... my tiger cubs. Timmy, Tanya, I don't, I just, I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Can you not? Sorry. <coughs> Matthew? You okay? We heard you crying. Matthew, we're sorry that we- Don't apologize. I'm the one who should be sorry. <laughs> he kidnapped Timmy and Tanya. <gasps> You kids were right. I've wanted that job for so long that it was almost the only thing I could think about. 
This never would have happened if I had done something instead of let him go. But no, I'm squeezing a sponge while Lucifer is doing who knows what to my tigers. And here I am, sitting at a dresser, crying about it. <laughs> I'm just sitting here, crying about it? I just don't understand. It's not like Matthew to just give in like that. He hates us! No, he doesn't. Remember what he said after that prank? He said he hated us. Oh, he was just mad at us. Besides, he can't go into blind rage. Remember the promise he gave to the studio manager? That's just it! That job was all he thought about! If he really cared about us, he would have brought Lucifer to justice, and we wouldn't even be in this mess. Oh. You're right. Well, despite all this, there is one bright side. We're about to be turned into coats, Timmy! What could possibly be the bright side of this? Even though we're gonna die in a few minutes, I'm just glad that I'm spending the last few minutes of my life with you. It's very nice to see that you two are enjoying your last moments together. Hmm. Maybe I could shoot both of you now and see Matthew's reaction to your dead bodies. <laughs> I can't wait to see the look on his face. I bet that pathetic defenseless sap is on his way over here right now with that bag of money in his hands getting ready to kneel in front of me and beg for mercy. What the?! <laughs> Happy to see ah! When I'm done with you, you are gonna wake up in hell! Ah! I honestly cannot believe you. You actually thought that you could march over here with your cartoon buddies and put an end to me? Face it, little more. I never lose. I have the money. What? I have the ten grand. Well, what a pleasant surprise. You all take it from here. I'm gonna go find the tigers. You spineless creatures think that you have the guts to off me? You're not a mob! You're nothing but a bunch of anthropomorphic doodles! Good aim! Thanks! Give up! I never lose! <gasps> what? You want to save your girlfriend? Huh? How are you gonna do that? Computer virus! Ah! He's getting away! After him!
You wouldn't dare! Ah! Throwing! Hi, my name is Wacky Quacky, and I'll be your pain inflictor for today! What are you going to do? Orbit around me to death? <laughs> oh no, how will I ever get out of this one? Timmy! Tanya! We're up here! There you are! Are you okay? Did he hurt you? We're fine! Good. Kids, I never meant what I said. I don't hate you. I can't live without you. So you love us? Yeah, like you're a father to us? Well, um, in a way, kinda, yeah. So who's the mother? Don't push it. <laughs> <laughs> so what else happened? Well, me and Timmy, kinda... <laughs> you kissed, didn't you? It meant nothing! It was just a symbol of respect for me! <laughs> You're free! Now hurry up before- HE'S GOT A GUN! You two need to go back home, NOW! But Matthew, you can't do this alone. Yeah, you need our help! I don't want you to get killed! You have to go home! LUCIFER! PUT THE GUN DOWN! Oh, I'm afraid I can't do that. I SAID PUT IT DOWN! <laughs> <laughs> Give up yet? You didn't even hurt me! Ow! Closer. None of this would have ever happened if you had simply let me win that contest. Say goodbye, little more. <laughs> Timmy? Tanya? Tanya, are you okay? I'm okay. Timmy? Timmy! No! Well, a job well done for one of you. Let's have a go at another one, shall we? What's the matter with you? You kill Timmy!
Thank goodness! We thought you were shot! I was, just in my arm. I panicked and fainted. Matthew! Oh my gosh! Matthew! Are you okay? Who cares? It's too late! Timmy's dead and it's all my fault! Don't be so sure. <gasps> Timmy! But you said losing your temper never solves anything! You're right, it doesn't. Except for one thing. What's that? Defeating an evil villain to save your best friends. Matthew? He's waking up! Matthew? You okay, buddy? Uh, what happened last night? And why does my larynx hurt? You saved us! From that evil Lucifer! Your tremendously stentorian scream disintegrated him. Then the factory collapsed on you. It did? Yes, it did. Dr. Dingo? The factory support beams broke your left arm and snapped your neck. Luckily, Choppy was able to remove the wood off of you and carry you home. Don't you worry, Matthew. I'll give you a nice neck massage to make you feel better. Ah! Sorry. It's okay. Timmy, how's your arm? I'm fine. Dr. Dingo said it'll heal in a couple of weeks. I'm a horrible person. What? No, you're not. Why would you think that? If I wasn't so obsessed over that job and trying to contain my temper, you never would have gotten hurt and none of you would have almost died. I'm going to the animation department to tell Mr. Rage everything that happened. But Matthew, he doesn't have to know. Your secret's safe with us. Yeah, just like that secret about your little kiss. <laughs> Guys, it's not very polite to... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Kids, listen. As much as I wanted this job, it got to my head. After everything that happened yesterday, I think giving up this deal is for the best. I'm telling Mr. Rage. But Matthew- I don't want anything like this to happen again! I have to tell him! I... I don't want to lose you. Okay. I'll be back in a couple of hours. At least I remembered where I parked. Who is it? Mr. Littlemore, sir. I was interviewed here two days ago. Come in. My goodness! What happened to you? You were fine two days ago. Um, you know that inspector that you sent over to my house? Yes. Well, let me put it to you this way. He was a murderous psycho. He tried to kill my characters. While I was saving their lives, I lost the stress ball. And he tried to make me lose my temper. He kidnapped my tigers and was about to turn them into fur coats. And then I kinda used up my third strike. Oh dear me. Well, you did promise not to do it. And you did sign that contract. I just couldn't let my friends die, okay? I'm sorry, sir, but after everything that happened, I guess I just don't have the temper to deserve this occupation. I'll get out of your sight. Come in! What are you doing here? Please, Matthew! You can't throw this job away! It's your dream! Kids, it's over. The deal's off. Mr. Littlemore? Yes? The deal's not off. Huh? I understand. It's been nice meeting you- What? The deal's not off. But I used up my last strike! Mr. Littlemore, you risked your own life and career to save your characters. No other employee of mine has ever went that far. You, sir, have what it takes. You mean... Yep, you got the job. I... <gasps> I do? I'll be expecting you at the studio in about a month, once all your bones are done healing. You have a good day. Oh, thank you. I got the job. I got the job! Ow!
I got the job. There he is. Hey, Matthew! So, tell us everything. How was your job? Better than ever. Timmy and Tanya performed this awesome slapstick act. It involved that new electric whoopee cushion. <laughs> Thanks for inventing it, Jojo. My pleasure. You know, I thought I'd never amount to anything, but I guess that all changed when I created the six of you. Thank you for being there for me. Hey, Matthew. Soda? Thanks. I guess it's smooth sailing ahead. <laughs> <laughs> You're not screaming? I can take a joke. Okay. <laughs> it's good to be home.